Hello and welcome to Enugu Connect on Ogama TV. And currently we are at um, Akwata in New Market, Enugu State, to get a glimpse of the high cost in food uh, commodities. So we are currently here to meet up with the traders so we can get a glimpse of the reason behind the high cost of food commodities in Enugu State and and possible way forward how the government can come in to remedy the situation right so stay with us as we meet up with the traders the prices of food items have recorded a 50 percent increase in the enugu metropolis in recent time food items like tomatoes and cassava flakes popularly known as gari Pepe, rice and beans have tripled in price. Speaking with Ogama TV correspondent, the chairman, New Market Tomato Dealers Association, Mr. John Ezeakum, cited insecurity and headsman activity as the leading cause for the scarcity and high cost of food items in the state. Mr. John said, Farmers no longer go into the bushes to farm for fear of being attacked by headsmen. He also explained that the high cost of transportation due to the hike in fuel pump price is a contributory factor to the current food inflation. He said that before now to bring their tomatoes from the north down to the east costs between 100 to 200,000 naira. But now it costs over 500,000. Particularly on the side of tomatoes, the price of tomatoes is always flexible. You know, in economics, we say that demand and supply determines price. That is number one. Then another factor is this. I think the activities of the herdsmen, because people cannot, people can no longer go inside the bush and they do their business, their farming business. So they manage the little farm they have within their periphery because of the activities of the herdsmen. Now the whole country goes to one village to buy. So they will practice monopoly in business. Demand is higher than supply. The price must go up. Uh, then when supply is higher than demand, the price will go down. When the supply is equal with demand, the price will be at equilibrium. Then number three, everything is seasonal. Now is the season of this type of tomato. We call it pension. Other seasons has gone. The cost of transportation is equally affecting the price of tomatoes. For you to bring these tomatoes, now you pay ordinary J5 over 500,000, half a million. Unlike some years ago, we are paying 100,000. So these things affect the price of tomatoes. Mrs. Angela Agusiogi who is a tomato wholesaler in the market, also cited headsman's activity as a major factor. She said farmers are afraid of being killed or raped by headsmen, as a result, unable to go into the bushes to farm. She appealed to the government to come to their aid by providing adequate security against headsmen, as well as bring down the fuel pump price for ease of transportation in order to tackle the current food insecurity challenge. The factor behind the excessive high cost of food commodity, especially tomatoes, where I'm dealing on, is the government. The government of this country contributed to the excessive cost. For instance, the J5 that used to bring these tomatoes from uh, four, five, one, getting to four, five, six months ago, they used to come with 250,000. But now it is 500,000, 550,000. Transportation alone. Then when you add it to the price of the thing, the thing will automatically go up. You know, this time around, this May, June time. It's not a time of tomatoes because we used to go to a particular place called Panchen Adjust. That is where the tomato is and 
so many people around we converge there and once the tomato is lesser than the people that want to buy it the price will automatically go up but in recent times this time around May June, we don't have tomatoes during berry season uh -huh. that one uh, contribute to, uh, to the high cost of uh, the commodity the way forward is that government should uh, at least help us one security insecurity in this country have contributed a lot not only on tomatoes but generally on food scarcity and the high cost because farmers that can go to farm they can go because of insecurity most of them will go to the farm and they will be kidnapped or raped or even killed so most of them then decided to stay back unless they have been escorted by a security that is one of the factors that make the scarcity and the excessive cost of these commodities mrs juliet Moye, who deals in vegetables like carrots and cabbages also lamented the excessive increase in the purchasing price of the items said that before now a bag of carrots did not go beyond 20 to 30 thousand naira but currently she buys it at a hundred thousand naira before i started this business it's very good and it's affordable like let me say use this carrot now a few months ago it's season it's carrot season but we cannot say that this is the season because the price is very high and the more we buy it high they as they grows the more higher like carrots normally we used to buy high yes if we buy thirty thousand, we cry that it had had money but this very tuesday we bought carrot of a bag a bag of carrots hundred and thirty thousand, which is very 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 annoying like green beans hundred thousand, a bag of green beans cabbage the same thing everything is adding money before you know we buy cabbage on like and um, cabbage twenty thousand highest twenty twenty five highest but now we are selling it now for eight fifty and the, the pieces that is inside the bag is not up to that time that we are buying twenty five that time we are buying twenty five we can count up to seventy something eighty but now fifty something understand and we are buying it more higher green pepper is hundred and like on friday they sold it one twenty hundred thousand and we cannot as in we cannot get what we are selling look at me i used to buy up to two bags two and a half bag of carrots but now it's, it's water because the price is too much people that is buying from me they are complaining even if they buy up to five thousand it will not be enough for them understand everybody is running away so we are begging the government that should come come to our aid this thing is very difficult for us another trader identified as sister Kalista, who deals in pepe also complained about the current hike in the price of the commodity she said that before now a basket of pepe cost only twenty thousand naira but currently it is at a hundred thousand naira what you are seeing now i can't just tell the price is too high based on what you used to buy before. Before, yeah, in the government, the thing was 20,000. Okay. But now, 100,000 a, a basket. Mrs. Ne Kamoko, a wholesaler of cassava flakes, cited the high cost of transportation as a major factor affecting the current hike in the price of the commodity. <laughs> I went away, Kiko. My canoe, Manunu, lying on a funa. You are Bola, Galacharano Keta. Sit on our foil, Mama Umi and Josanilla. So I am a Maria Garija Galano Rice, my only love land, a cup to move. Garia de Quego and you got on a village. Is any mobile? A briere attack at the rich, on our Manego was nil. Oh, oh, the Kaya, the Kaisuka Garaga. I never go to it. Must I go three thousand? Three thousand corner on And the non-affair penta. On the affair, on your bola. 
a government bataronyo abla se maka na iya anu a na Nigeria o jona kuzi nde mad basari ya geti ni na phone. Mrs. Sarah Manko, who is also a wholesaler of gari, stated that the high cost of transportation as a result of the hike in the fuel pump price and the activities of killer headsmen, which have prevented farmers from farming in the bushes, are contributory factors to the current food inflation. According to Mrs. Manko, a bag of gari before now goes for 25 to 30,000 naira. But now it is a hundred and ten thousand naira. So, a pagare Nambo and Negoya twenty five thousand Nambo na thirty thousand. We take Gomotoya, we find a letter a bar. I ain't getting a yoga and a noble thirty five thousand Malakita. I ain't got a gotayakita. My Gomotoya, my Ruteba. Na ihe nile ihe ono kitabo 110000 and the 110000 na ihe ihe na dia penta na dia bu 30 penta 30 penta i me wese aka irete ganya asina gara galon and irete ganya ana ashanya onwe ko na bi recha ga irete zu ego self because ego mota i kwa has of well because i na yo so that the Codron de Negoya and you fit the Paranua, Mufi Macano, Ia in a colony, kind of so my kind. Now my capital is okay in a school. When you are dainty, as run a school. Now Bohoya in a colony and Uchi. In a nation where over fifty per cent of its population falls under the unproductive sector, the poor economic situation continues to bite harder on Nigerians, with its attendant effects that may lead to food crisis in the coming years if the situation is not quickly addressed. When you think of online TV and radio, broadcasting, media consultancy, event coverage, event management and planning, there's no better name than Ogama TV. But that's not all. We're also into photo studio and coverage, equipment rental, news blogging, fashion and pageantry. We are at number 5 at Stroke 21 Chime Avenue, beside Open Sheraton Restaurant, New Heaven, Enugu. Follow us on our social media handles, Facebook at Ogama TV, Instagram at Ogama TV One, Twitter at Ogama TV, website www.ogamatv.com. You can also send us email at ogamatv at gmail.com. Ogama TV, your one-stop media solution.